Man, it's so quiet in the barn today. It's almost like there's nothing to do. With one exception. I've literally got to pick all this straw up. And all that straw too. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Well, there's only one thing that's going to work with that. And that's going to be this bad bar right meow. The Case Magnum 400. And of course we're going to use that. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, this makes life nice, quick, easy, and fast. I don't remember. Did we take out a loan? No, we did not take out any loan, which is nice. But we've got a whole lot more to sell. Man, oh man, oh man. Look at this. 307,000 liters of soybeans. At this price? Are you kidding me? $6,500 per thousand liters? That's 6,500 times 300. It's gonna be a lot. Not to mention all the straw I'm about to pick up off of the ground. But I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that because that's gonna be boring. Just like that cow right there that decided to lay down. You feel this, don't you? Yeah, this is gonna suck. I've also had a little change of heart as far as what we're gonna do with our fields as well. I'm gonna convert field two right here into a grass field. So basically, field two and field six, these are gonna be grass fields, and these fields over here, three and four, are going to be crop fields, because these are much larger. We're only gonna get two harvests out of these per year. However, we can get three mowings done per year. So I think with two, that's a better option. Also, I would love field 10. I wonder if we can buy it after this. 1.8 mil? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting 1.7 mil at the end of all this. Although, <laughs> crazier things have happened. After one headland, we're sitting right about 400,000 liters of soybean straw. And at the end of the first field, it looks like we're so close to 1 million liters, but not quite. 919,000. I wonder where we'll be at the end of the second field. Nearing the end of field number two, and we've picked up, I think this is like twice as much. Yeah, we just hit two million liters right there. So more than twice as much off this field as we did the first field. And we got one more to go. And just like that, we are done. We got it all picked up. Yeah. So what are we at? $2.5 million for the soybean straw. Now, let's go sell it. Should be located down here near the bottom. And it looks like uh, North Valley Bills. Tag that place. Yay. Oh no! <laughs> I haven't been up here since like, I don't know, the beginning of the series. So I totally forgot that all of that was like that. Oh man, all right. So this is gonna be a pretty good payday at the end of the day. Can we get through? Nope. I ain't even, yo, visually I got plenty of room. Let DJ through. Oh, I am stuck, stuck. Come on, let's go. I know a way around this, but I'm gonna have to turn into uh, Superman real quick or Hulk or whatever. I don't man, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Works every time. All right, let's get it dumped out. We got $88,000 before and well, $455,000 after. Man, 366 grand for all of that. That's free money. Now, just to save time and energy, let's go ahead and use the same setup for dumping out the soybeans because there's a whole bunch of soybeans, I think, in here somewhere. There's got to be at least one. I may have forgot to modify this trailer to hold bulk crop. So we're going to have to do something else. All right, so we get to get the Mac out. Also, you probably noticed everything's clean now. I decided to clean everything. Also, this, this kind of is half in, half out of that building. So we're just going to... Ignore that that's a thing and move. Did I just say move? Uh, move on. Yeah, let's just ignore what's going on right now. All right, so we are all filled up, ready to go. I have a good amount of stuff in here. That's 200,000 liters right there. We'll spin this bad boy around and see what we can get ourselves into as far as selling goes. Fortunately for us, we're heading down to the selling point on our farm. How easy is that? Fun part's gonna be trying to get in here in first person. Because I don't know. Hey, I did it. Okay, cool. All right. Now is the fun part where we get to figure out how much money we going to get. After the first bit, um, well, I say I'm happy. Uh, this is an understatement. $658,000 for the front half of this trailer. Which means we've got at least 1.2 mil to go. There's another 658 right there. So we're up to 1.7 million dollars. Meaning, hang on a minute. This is only 1.8. And this is 409. I might be able to buy both of the... Oh, can you imagine owning both of those fields? I think I'm going to try and do it. 
I might, I might see if we can make that happen. And run, 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 run. Get down here before we get finished up. All right, so 7,000 liters in the back. Oh. What? I ain't caught on nothing. Man. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. So 7,000 liters in. Nice and easy. There we go. And then we're going to switch this over to the front and make that happen. I'm starting to get some artifacting a little bit. It's kind of blurry. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I've been playing Farm Sim. I think this game has been open for a few hours at this point. Definitely shouldn't be doing that. And there you got it. 658,000 yet again. We'll go ahead and close up that and set it to front. Good. So we're at $2.4 million right now. That's a lot of money. Oh boy. Of course, field 10 and field five are both soybeans. Uh, the good thing is at least uh, the, the growth ain't all there yet. So that's kind of nice. What we could do is we can go ahead and buy these. So there's that and there's that. We still got a good amount of money left as well. 233 grand. That's enough to do just about whatever we want. All right, so here is what I think we're gonna do because eventually all of these fields are gonna be kind of one thing and I'd rather do one job all at once. So as far as doing anything with field three and field four, for now, I ain't doing nothing. We're gonna leave these fields and we're just gonna let them sit. But this one, we gotta do something here. And I'm gonna start by doing something that might make you happy. It might not, depending on who you are. Uh, but I'm gonna swap this tractor for the Optum. Um, it's just, man, it's taken a while to get stuff done with this little International. I love it. It's a great tractor. I'm just not sure for me today, right now, exactly what I'm doing at this moment. Uh, this is the best option. So I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna kind of put it in this shed right here and Leave it be. But this bad boy right here. Now this will do okay. Also, I've not modified a sprayer yet. We're gonna need to because those fields over there are massive and we're gonna need to get work done very, very quickly. So let's get a uh, refill real quick on liquid fertilizer. Then we'll go ahead and put some seed down for grass. And then well, we'll put some fertilizer down again. I do prefer the medium to large size case tractors. Something about these tractors I just absolutely Love. The Magnum is one of my favorite. The Optum is one of my favorite of all times. But I do like those old Magnums as well. Man, they're just so beautiful. Real quick before we move on, I think I'm going to customize our Magnum a little bit. So right now we've got a big engine in here. We've got, uh, what was it, the, the, yeah, the 400 power shift. Now the power shift's great, a lot of power, et cetera, et cetera. But because I'm doing automatic, it, it sometimes it gets kind of caught up a little bit. So I think we're gonna drop down to a variable transmission. I don't think they offer the largest engine in a variable, no. So we're gonna go with this and I think it'll be fine. Also, one of the reasons I'm doing this cause when it backs up, it gets stuck in first gear and I don't know why. Uh, also, should we do black wheels on here? Just to kind of change it up for the rest of the series? I think they look pretty good, man. Yeah, we are gonna do it. So now when we back up, nice and easy, very smooth. That's the thing we're getting at here. Very smooth reversing. I really haven't pushed this thing to its limits that much anyway. So you know what? It'll be fine. A little less horsepower. I, think, I don't think it's gonna prevent us from doing anything. Really, the only thing that I can think of that'll prevent us from doing anything is not having enough fuel. So we're gonna need to fill up because we're almost empty. Also, how's our other tractor doing? How you doing, bro? How you killing him right now, man? Keep going. Do you think? I figured we'd use the Magnum. It was only one tractor that we need right now, and you now the other one is fertilizing. So we'll go with this. I think we need to fill up with a little bit of seed, though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. So we'll go ahead and open up the seed pods. Oh, get close. Oh, I can't drive. I'm not a good forwards driver. I'm not the best driver in Farm Sim. Best backwards driver in Farm Sim. Forwards, though, not even close. Do me a favor. Don't tell Clutch I said that. He doesn't need to hear that. And Trucker Matsy, neither. Neither one of them need to know what just happened here. All right, grass in the ground. Again, uh, we are gonna do two grass fields, field number two and field number six right here. And then all of these areas over here, well, actually, once we get the next harvest, I'm gonna go in and we're just gonna plow all these little areas up. But for now, uh, we'll leave them be. As a matter of fact, we might even take field four and field three here and field five and field 10 and make it one field or just make all of this one massive, huge field. 
Actually, that's not a bad idea. Making it happen. This is what I'm talking about right here. Let's go. Figure while we wait on everybody, we going to take a look at some areas that we're going to plow up. So this is one of the areas right here, just at the top of this field. Uh, these trees are going to have to go. I don't know if I'm going to delete trees or if we're going to cut these down. I'm sure we'll do one of the two. They're not really great trees for logging. I don't think any of the trees are. So uh, we may cut quite a few of these down using the delete tool. Uh, also, we're going to be cutting all of this out and making this a nice big old square boring field because, well, because we are. That's why. <laughs> and all around as well. I'm going to speed it up a little bit so I can show you guys some more areas. Of course, all of this bit right here, there's no point to leave this open. I know here we're between two fields, though, but I'm not going to leave this. We're going to cut this, and then we're going to make these just one big field, which is going to be nice. Of course, trees down here as well. There are maybe one or two trees here that are good for logging, but I'm not sure if we'll really get anything out of those. And then, of course, we've got these areas here, and I believe there's like one more maybe up here. Yeah, right here, but it's really, really small. It's annoying, but it's small. So we'll hit all of these areas and we'll get all of them plowed up. Ugh, but it's not gonna be right now, at least. We gotta harvest this field for, oh, I gotta harvest this field like this? Oh, that's gonna suck. Just about finished up with this field scene, man. I love first person, but I'm so bad at it. I would love to do a lot more first person. This, the depth is just absolutely atrocious. Actually, I can't fold this up yet. There's one more spot. Let's see if I can get this backed up. Man, it looks so weird just backing up like that. I know it's a little bit off center, a little off kilter, but eh, we'll, we'll deal with it. Oh yeah, and I've got a mod to <laughs> install that won't let me turn my head 360 degrees either. Yo, how do I, how do I get this steering wheel to come down? There's gotta be a button for it, right? Negative, nothing to get this steering wheel down, man. Looks a little funny up there. There's one little spot up here that was missed. We need to make sure that this is gotten because this is a grass field. We don't need holes in a grass field. We'll drop it down, turn it on. Now we've hit it. We'll get this folded up. We'll also get our uh, fertilizer spreader running, or the sprayer rather. And then I think we might just be about done at least for winter. We will need to do a whole lot of fast forwarding and time and stuff like that, but you know, yeah, it's not gonna be too bad. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Come on, DJ. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Best backwards driver in farm sim. Get at me, bro. All right, so maybe there was more than one spot that was missed over here. So I gotta break this over. I uh, just lease this. This is actually a modified version, but it was modified by a modder on ModHub. Um, it's a, yeah, it's, I don't know. It just direct drills. That's really all I need. So we're gonna set this to grass. There we go. And we'll go ahead and drop it down. Need to unfold the tool. Man, come on, let's go. There we go. See that? That's one spot. There's another spot right here. I'm gonna try and do this one in first person. Ooh, ooh, ooh that was <laughs> frame goodbyes. That wasn't even frame drops. Those were frame goodbyes. All right, do we hit it? I don't, I don't see it anymore. I think we got it. I don't think there were any other spots, but I am just gonna kind of run the outside here and we'll kind of double check. What an idiot. If we just was like, you know what? I think I'm done. You know what? I'm just done. I don't even want to do anything anymore. I'm done. I'm gonna be done right here. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna be done right here as well. I don't think I can take much more of this in one day. 